I'm Laura Benamot. I'm assistant professor of art with the art department at Pikes Peak Community College and I'm the gallery director here as well. is topographies and it's a little bit of a play on words as it references the art and science of map making, of studying of terrains, studying geographies. And then we have a really very special poetic printmaker uh, from Boulder, Michaela Keys, and she works with organic inks. I work intuitively. The process is I have a plate like a plastic plate, and I say I paint on the plate with printmaking inks, and then I do the image I think I want, and then I would put a piece of paper on the plate. My artwork is, uh, for about the last 10 years, I've been doing monotypes, which is a form of printmaking, and what it is, is each one is unique and on its own. It's not a duplicate of anything else. So the work on display here are all printmaking monotypes. One of a kind. David Williams is one of the artists here and so I've got to come down and support uh, him and his endeavors and it's just fun watching him grow as an artist and as a person. Well, um, I'm just one of those people where when I see something I like and it speaks to me, you know, I'll try and see more of it so I really enjoy it. This is a great facility. It's right near my home and actually it's got very very good art so I'm really excited that I've, I get to learn more about it from here so it's really neat. I 
went to undergrad for art and then master's program for art and then I'm just a couple years out of it so I have a pretty fresh perspective of the challenges and I, the, the longer I've been in it the more business aspect it's been in. It's a, it's a long process because I'm, I'm printing the material that I use and then I take that back to the studio and start cutting it up and arranging it. And I print here in Colorado Springs and then I take it back to Pagosa Springs which is southwest Colorado. So it's kind of a, a mixture of uh, process oriented but yeah anywhere from I've, I've made pieces that have taken me months and these these were a little bit quicker. A couple three weeks probably. Topographies features the work of Melissa Furness, who's professor of painting at University of Colorado in Denver. My favorite kind of art is art with integrity, art with originality, art that has something to say and has been thoughtfully developed. So it invites the viewer to have an expanded perspective on something they've never thought about before. I'm here with my wife, who's one of the artists participating in the show. She's a printmaker. Coincidentally, two behind me for her work. Her name is Mikhail Kais. She's a Boulder printmaker. Living with an artist has been uh, helpful to me because I've learned a lot about what to look for and open my eyes a bit. When anybody looks at any work of art, they'll look at it they'll appreciate the work, they'll walk away, but sometimes they'll look at it, they'll be captivated by it, and somehow something internally is connecting. But whether it's a painting or a sculpture or what have you, I don't think it really makes that much of a difference. you go to an art reception and it's a very quiet affair, it's very meditative, sparsely attended. Well, we want that to happen for the viewer as well. But during the reception, we really embrace the spirit of celebration, celebrating our three artists, the great privilege of having them here with us, celebrating through music and food and encouraging as broad and varied an audience as possible to come together and experience the show. The harder you work, the luckier you'll get, you know? And she's a lifelong artist. This is one of those things that I'm learning a lot about right now. I keep rolling it through the press until I get what I'm happy with. Well, I just like people expressing themselves. And so the idea of these kinds of visual, emotional, historic, time, uh, eras, political concepts all come to the surface through topographies.